Naperville News 17's Blaine Irwin takes a closer look at how senior housing needs are outgrowing what's available here in town. When Naperville Senior Task Force interviewed the city's seniors, they said their two biggest concerns were transportation and housing. While Right Assist Naperville has stepped up to help with transportation, how will the city tackle the housing problem? In 2019, Naperville's population is projected to reach 150,000. Of that, 27% of residents will be seniors, aged 55 and older. That's over 40,000 people, many with special housing needs. The things that were nothing for them when they were younger or that their children helped out with, like cutting grass, gardening, shoveling snow, all, the, all those sorts of things start to be tasks that, that really can't be done very safely. For seniors looking to downsize, there are a variety of places to live, from Martin Avenue apartments for low-income independent living to Monarch Landing for those who need assistance. But there simply isn't enough. Martin Avenue's waiting list is over two years long, and there are few homes left in town both suitable and affordable for seniors. You know, you can buy a house, live in it for 40 years or so, and it's essentially paid off. And if you sell it and you get $300,000 out of it, where are you going to go? In Naperville. Because the condos that are going up are close to 400000 But new developments could be on the horizon, like the Martin Avenue Apartments Project, a 68-unit addition to the 40-year-old complex, which has planning and zoning's seal of approval. There's also Avenida, a proposed senior living facility for the southwest corner of Mill Street and Commons Road. A large apartment style building with many units in it. Um, I think if it is properly planned and designed and attractive that it can be um, a great thing for this town. Another option is group housing, like the homes provided by Senior Home Sharing, where four to six seniors live together in one house. You have a lot of big houses in Naperville. You know, you've got people, one person living in these big houses. I think they're just ripe for, um, for home sharing. Expanding senior living options means those who have lived here for decades won't get priced out as they age. For Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin. Planning and zoning still hasn't voted on Avenida. The initial proposal resulted in some public concerns, with future discussion tabled until changes could be made to the design.